Hey, up and good evening, everybody. This is Sports Land News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a quick video on our Philadelphia Flyers slash Philadelphia, well, Lehigh Valley Phantoms, I should say, making a AHL trade that probably is going to affect the NHL sooner rather than later, getting Brennan Manel at 24 years of age. Uh, he was out of the WHO where he played for the Hurricanes and the Giants um, in the WHL and did very good there as a passing defenseman and did swimmingly in Iowa playing in his home state as he's from Minnesota, Woodbury, Minnesota, for the Iowa Wild before going over to the KHL in the 2020-21 season and dominating there in a men's league, arguably the second best league on the planet in terms of men the highest ranked league in hockey. And he dominated over there as a passer and then came back here and did solid with the Marlies in kind of inconsistent playing time being an odd man out there, hence the trade. The Flyers need more right shot defensemen as much as they can get in their system. Honestly, especially a kid as talented passing wise as a guy like him that can get it up the ice. They obviously already have a physical guy in Risto. Wyatt Wiley's a good guy that can kind of do it all. Ronnie Attard fits into that category and is great offensively um, and is great at passing and scoring. So he fits into kind of that bigger category offensive size, side of being good at both. But Brennan Manel, I think, before the end of the season, likely is to see some time. With the Flyers, they still have four call-ups, or, re or not, two recalls, I think. But they can play with the emergency um, thing a little bit, how teams have been doing that, as you know what I mean, I'm sure. So they can kind of mess with that around a little bit, the emergency call-ups, like they just did with Hayden Hodgson. Congratulations to him getting his call-up, by the way. That is huge for Hayden Hodgson, as he plays with some jam, plays a Tom Wilson style. Nobody plays at that level but plays with jam, can really shoot the puck and gets to all the right dirty areas to score the dirty goals, but also to score the snipe goals is, well, he gets to all the right spots on the ice. Uh, Brennan Manel, though, back to him, great passing defenseman, a guy out of the Vancouver Giants, and then he uh, played with the Hurricanes at the WHL to finish off, was absolutely great with the Iowa Wild, went to the KHL and dominated over there, and also he's not afraid to stand up. He might be a smaller guy at only 5'11", about 180, but he's not afraid to stand up to anybody, hence the 60 penalty minutes uh, he had in the KHL. He will go up against guys. So obviously that side of things, I think, plays well to the Flyers faithful and Phantoms faithful as well. Well, I think he's going to fit in like a glove. He's a guy that wanted more of a chance, like the opportunity he got in Iowa where he played two seasons over 70 games and then the one that was in the high 50s. So he wants to at least get that chance again, but also an NHL opportunity as he's at that age where good undrafted guys get an opportunity at about 24, 25 of being his age 25 season next year. So this is a nice small pickup for the Philadelphia Flyers. You have to bring in more right-handed short defensemen into our system. Makes perfect sense. It's for future considerations, which I think will probably not be money. It'll probably be a player just so the Flyers have more contract slots. I would have to think the future consideration will probably be a player especially also for the fact that Brennan Manel seems to be developing at a good rate. He just kind of became an on-man out in a system that Toronto, even with the Newfoundland Growlers, has a lot of guys of the, from the defense on the AHL contract. So he kind of just became an odd man out. But when it comes to him, I think he's going to be a perfect fit here in Philadelphia, and I would say maybe in two weeks. I would think before the end of the season, he will get a look with the Flyers. Obviously, he'll get to get used to his new organization with the Phantoms, but I don't think it'll be long before they try to find a way to get him up to give him a look and see if he can be this nice third-pairing defenseman that you can try to develop further or just be a good passing third-pairing defenseman because it's always nice to have one of those as well that's a good offensive third-pairing defenseman. And then you can have that as well with whoever lefty you decide to put with him, whether it's Cam York to start next season or whatever, whoever you have, you do the lines. If you actually put everybody on their own side with Keith Yandel gone, you might do if they're all on the team, Provy, Sanheim, York on the left side, assuming they're all still on the team. And then he would be the third guy on the right side. So either way, I think he'll fit in nicely to this team. It's a good opportunity for the kid. So welcome into the organization. Uh, please continue to subscribe down below. Up above the easy dues widget to keep the channel growing to 215 or more by the end of March. I think he's going to fit in well with the team. Nice small trade made by the Flyers slash Phantoms organization, and I think will be up and making an impact with the Flyers probably sooner rather than later. Peace out, everybody.